Hey guys, Ryan the Nerd here. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Godzilla vs. Kong Skull Crawler with um, Hev, Hev, Hev. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Hev. Uh, but uh, so uh, yesterday, matter of fact, uh, I was um, I went to the mall. And, uh, not the mall. What the hell am I talking about? The freaking Walmart. I went to Walmart to get groceries and stuff. And I still had a little bit of money left. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see what they have. Um, and this guy was surprisingly not that very expensive. He was only $12. So, if you guys, um, really want this figure for yourself, it's not that expensive. Uh, it's only like $12. Um... So, you know, <laughs> just go crazy. So, if you don't know what the Skull Crawler is, or you haven't been paying attention to, like, any, like, the other movies, basically the Skull Crawlers were, like, subterranean lizard things in, um, uh, Con Skull Island, and they were, like, kind of, like, the main antagonist. Um, so they're, like, they're, like, half snake, half lizard type things. And I don't know if they actually appeared in the actual... Godzilla vs. Kong movie, so, and by the way, please do not spoil the movie in the comments, I want to watch it for myself, and I don't want any spoilers, I've been avoiding spo spoilers for a long time, so, as you can see here, we got some, we got Kong with fighter jet, Warbat, I don't even know what that says, uh, Osprey, I don't even know, Godzilla with heat ray, Godzilla with battle axe, and Godzilla with radio tower, and then we have what the HEV stands for, hollow earth anti-gravity vehicle, um, then over here we have some read up about the skull crawler, and then we have uh, the picture of the skull crawler, and then on the back it just you know well on the bottom I should say it just has some random mumbo jumbo. So let's move on. Okay, so uh, here we are. Let's get him in. Here he is. Here's the skull crawler. Um, he is very long. Uh, he can't even fit into frame. Uh, that's how long he is, and if I do it like this, if I just move it like that, well, actually, that would kind of work. But if I move it, try, try to like that, it's just going to bump my sheet, and it's going to fall over. Um, so here he is. He is very large. Um, if you guys remember when Skull, uh, Skull Island came out, Walmart released some, some like, toy sets for the movie. Uh, like, promotional type stuff to get your hype up. Um... And, uh, everybody was like, oh, what's the skull crawler? Where's this weird thing? Because, uh, they, each set that they came with was, like, um, oops, uh, was, um, that came with a monster. One came with the giant spider bamboo thing. One came with some, uh, one of the bat creatures, I think. And one came with a skull crawler. And, um, everybody was like, these toys aren't really that great. Uh, the creatures... I'm pretty sure what everybody wanted, but they didn't have any articulation. The skull crawler in that set, um, it literally was like a standing thing. It didn't move. There was no moving parts. It was just like a solid piece of plastic. Uh, but the only part that actually moved on it was its mouth. Um, and everybody was kind of disappointed. And I was really looking forward to this figure because I was, I really, I was like, no way. They actually came with a full, like full size action figure skull crawler. That's awesome. Um, so, let's, I guess we can move on to the details now. So, uh, I love this guy. I love how the skull crawlers look. They're probably, like, one of my favorite designs. I don't think they could have changed it any other way. But, um, it's pretty awesome. I love this. I love this guy. Um, so, as you can see, he has red on him, and then it goes all the way down. Um, so, I love how the red on his, the top of his head is, like, really shiny. And then it kind of moves up, and then it goes onto its spine, and then it goes all the way down, but then it fades out into the actual skin. Uh, same here as well, so that's awesome. Um, and as you can see, he's got like little battle damage, I guess you want to call it, like some scratch marks. Um, and as you can see, they're a different shade of red from the red on the, the actual body itself. Um, but to me, the, the, like the scratches or whatever, they look like they just took a really thin Sharpie and just, uh, did that, but, you know what, I don't really care, um, but, uh, and I do love his face, uh, the skull crawls had a really interesting design, not because they only had two legs and they have a long snake-like tail, but the, the head, because they had, like, the tip of the head had, like, a skull feature, and then their eyes was behind it, um, so, awesome, um, so, I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, a nose, like, a nose socket or an eye socket, let me know, um, 
pretty awesome. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you. Before we get on to the articulation, I had to pull out something. I forgot to bring out the heavy. Um, so, I just pulled it out for now. I just pulled it out right now. That's what I was trying to say. Because I can't speak English properly. Um, so, here's the, the hev. I don't know why I said heavy. Why did I say heavy? I have Team Fortress 2 on the mind right now. Um, so here we are. Uh, it's very well sculpted. I do say so. Um, the paint, it's not really. I guess you can call that a cockpit if you want to. I don't, I don't remember this being in the movie. I mean, this is probably like a new thing in the uh in the movie yet again don't spoil me um but i love how they have some like thruster detail on there um it's hollow in the bottom so you can just like take this and then you can just uh <laughs> um but um if you are also wondering um uh if you're wondering uh, how come there's not many paint applications on here well it's a 12 dollar figure and but to be honest, I don't really care about the paint on this guy. I think that they, they just a little bit of red and a little bit of uh, yellow and and some like that is actually really good for this figure because he they, they didn't really have much color in it anyway. Um, but I wish that the claws were a little bit painted, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, by the way, he does have like a tongue in there so it's also painted as well but the reason why i don't want to bash on the paint too much because it's very paint chip durable they're not like flaking off or anything because they're actually into the plastic so it's actually made into the plastic so you can just fumble around this guy you can do all sorts of things and also his belly that's a weird looking belly but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna judge that guy for his belly also, if you notice, some of the, the creature, like some of the figures in this line, actually have battle damage. Um, which, to me, I don't really like the battle damage that much. It kind of reminds me of, like, the really old, like, the, the Jurassic Hasbro figures. Like, the Jurassic Park, like, Jurassic World Hasbro figures, where they had battle damage. You guys remember those terrible figures? Um, so, here's the battle damage. So you can just remove it. It's and it's also a, a different material. So it's made out of rubber. So you don't have to you don't have to worry about breaking it because if it was plastic, that that thing would just break right off. But here's the battle damage. You can see the spinal cord and you have the ribs there. But it also is like a lighter shade. It's a darker shade of red than the actual red on his on his body. And it also is the same area of the scratches. So you can tell that it's actually blood and there is some paint chipping there. But you know. It's not, I don't really care. I'm not even going to display him with the battle damage. I'm just going to display him with his skin on. Um, so let's move on to the articulation, shall we? For the articulation, he has no, he has a really limited swivel at the head. Really limited. Nothing there. That's that's all you can get. I wish they had a little bit more articulation at the head. Um, but he does have an opening mouth, um, which is kind of... Um, which, when you open it really wide, it looks really stupid. Um, but if you just open it like that, he he looks kind of... He doesn't look that bad. Um, and also his eyes there, uh, his eyes kind of look a little bit goofy. Um, but that's okay. Um, because you can just do this, like, just zoom in. Hello, I'm a scroll crawler. I'm going to eat your family. <laughs> um, so... Um, don't mind that. Um, for the arms here, I'm gonna, hopefully this doesn't knock, knock it down. But for his arms here, he does have a, oops, it's a little bit bright. There we go. On the back here, he does have some articulation, so he can do that. So it is like on a, um, like a hinge joint. And he also does have a rotation at the, I guess, the mid-arm joint. And then for his, I guess, your, like, your bend at the elbow, I guess also has a hinge joint so it can move side to side so you can get kind of like a pivot and it also has a rotation as well and you don't have to worry about breaking it okay there we go it was kind of stiff um also he does have like a um so when you spin it and move it it actually like the shoulder pads here are actually like rubber so you don't have to worry about breaking it um for the detail here he has a ball joint at the tail, a really nice ball joint. So you can get some like all kinds of poses. So you can get like that, like that, just like anything that you can possibly imagine. I'm just going to display him like that because I, I don't know. I just like that. Uh, but also speaking of the tail, uh, you also have to attach the tail separately. So uh, th there's a ball joint in the actual thing where you're supposed to attach the tail. 
Um, but on my coffee, it was really hard to get in there. So what I recommend is just, just take a blow dryer, heat up that plastic um, or rubber. I, it's it's rubber. Well, no, it's kind of hard rubber, hard plastic, I guess. Um, but heat up that uh, that heat up that that tail bit and then just stick it in. Um, and then that you should be good. So guys, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's kind of short. Uh, it's only 10 minutes, but I mean, nothing what you could do. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you in, uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is. So, bye. I literally messed up my own freaking video. That was awesome.